Hey everyone, I'm Adam. I'm on the Teams team here at Microsoft. Each week, we'll be sharing one of our favorite collaborative apps that you can search for and use right in Teams today. This week is all about approvals in Teams with Adobe Sign. There's so many ways that you can use approvals in Teams. You can request time off. You can ask your team to review and approve blog content or social media posts just like our team does. And you can even send contracts for approval that require signatures by using Adobe Sign with approvals in Teams. And the best part, you can send approval requests instantly from anywhere you might be working. Okay, so let's break down sending approval requests in Teams together. Before we get started, just like with every other app, start by searching for, downloading, and setting it up through the Teams App Store. Click the three dots on the left-hand pane or the store icon. Then search or scroll to find approvals and open the app. If you know you'll be using this frequently, be sure to right-click on the app and pin it. This way, you'll always see the icon on that left side pane. Let's start with a basic approval request first, sending a blog post for approval. To start, select new approval request. Choose the type of request, in our case, basic for this example. Next, name the request. And for this, I'll say blog post approval. Now, select the people you need to get approval from and add any additional details as needed. For this, I'll add the blog copy for approval and send it out. It's that easy. Now, if your request is for a contract or statement of work where you need to have authenticated signatures, Adobe Sign will enable you to do that right in Teams. To use Adobe Sign, you do need a subscription or you can sign up for a free trial to get started. From the Approvals app or Again, by selecting the approvals icon in a chat, start a new approvals request. Select eSign and Adobe Sign from the dropdown. Name the request, like for this one, SOW for blog editorial, and add any additional details you need. Add your file that you need to authenticate signatures for, and you can upload from your computer or choose an existing Adobe eSign document. Add recipients by selecting their role, choose signer or approval, and you'll be ready to send. You might be wondering now what happens after you hit send. Well, of course, besides kicking back to congratulate yourself on a job well done. Well, you might want to check the status of the approvals you've sent or even find requests you've received. So in the approvals app, by clicking on approvals, you'll be able to see the blog post approval request from earlier on the sent tab. You can see the status, who sent it, who received it, and if you're still waiting for a response. You can also go to the Adobe Sign tab to check on your eSign requests as well. Using approvals, along with Adobe Sign and Teams, lets you stop searching your inbox for emails and saves you a lot of time. Now, be sure to try out approvals with your team. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the ways you can use Microsoft Teams today.